This is a video to demonstrate how to annotate and highlight certain structures within an image on Osirix. And I'm going to do this in a plain film and also on a cross-sectional study. So as you can see, I've got a X-ray of a wrist and also an MRI of a pelvis here. So if we just start with the wrist, just want to double click on our study. And then we want to use this region of interest tool, which is this green line. We just want to click the little down arrow next to it. And I can select the arrow function. So I'm just going to draw an arrow on some structures. So you select where you want the point of the arrow to be and then draw it out. And we can draw one here as well. So we've got our two arrows there now. And then we can just use the same region of interest tool to change the tool to the text tool. And if I double click, we get the text. I'm just going to call that A. And then we can double click over here, and call that B. And we can get rid of that. So now we have our labeled and annotated image. This could be used in a test, for example. Um, now we just need to save this image. So we want to go to File, Export, Export to Dicon File, call it Exported Series or whatever you like. Just press OK. And you can see if you look over here, this has popped up now. So now we have three images. We've got our original, which has just got our removable region of interest on. So if we go to region of interest, these won't save if you close the study. So you can just delete those. And we have our lateral as before. And also we have our new annotated image. This is called exported series. And if you try to delete them, you cannot delete the region of interest. So these are as if you like burned onto the image. So that's how to do it on a plain film. You can do so highlight and select areas of a cross-sectional study. So we'll just use this MR pelvis which I've loaded up to demonstrate that. So you can see I've got my MR pelvis which doesn't have any region of interest on it. Um, and we'll use our region of interest tool again just to highlight a couple of structures. So we'll highlight this structure here. Um, we can go to a different slice and we can highlight uh, this structure here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this structure, but I'm going to draw the arrow quite far off the edge of the image, and we'll see what happens later, which is it's a slight annoyance. So we can annotate these again. So we can call this A, and we can go to our other ones, and we can call that one. Uh, where is it? B, and then we can call that the one that we had, which was the third one. Yeah, we can call that C. So we've got our annotated image, and we can also use the paintbrush tool to draw and try to highlight certain structures. So, for example, I could highlight endometrium. So I just want to draw in this region, just drag and hold. And you get this rather annoying box when you draw on a structure, but you can get rid of that by choosing ROI. Make sure this is ticked, so it's only displayed info when the region of interest is selected. If we go back to our image, we just click on that now, and it should disappear. Okay, so we've got all our series with our region of interest on. Now we need to save it. So we just go to File, Export. Export to Dicon files, and we want to make sure that it's this 8 bit with the region of interest, and we want to do all images in the series. And we can just call it Exported Series for now. You can rename it to anything you like. We just click OK. You'll see that Osiris goes through and saves all of these images, and now we've got a third series which is called Exported Series. So we can just have a look at that. So if we, as we scroll through, you'll notice. Our annotated images are there, but this was our one that we drew quite far off the screen, and as you see, it cuts it off just at the edge of the image. So, one thing to remember is do not draw your arrows too far off the edge of the image, otherwise, they do get cut off when you save it. And then we've got our paint brushed area here, and then we've got our other annotated. Um, parts of anatomy. 
So, and these cannot be deleted, so we can't use our region of interest. The delete thing is greyed out, so you cannot delete them. Whereas in our original series, they are not saved, so they will be deleted when you close and open the study again. So we can just delete all region of interest in this series, and they're gone. So that is how to annotate and store um, your annotations on an image. We use a plain film and also an MRI. Thanks for watching.